guru who uh, is heavy into video, and he called me up and he says, hey, man, let me show some video tricks that I'm using to get tons of exposure, ton of celebrity status, tons of leads. Um, so, uh, Dave, man, what's going on, brother, down in Indy? I know it's cold, but what else is going on down there? I'm selling some all houses. I, 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 this is... Just January 1st, I started my third full-time year in real estate. You know, I was just like you. I was a, I was a full-time mortgage guy. Got out of it in 2010. I had had just enough of, do, of doing mortgages. I felt like I was always the bad guy. It was just I was enjoying marketing more than I did. I was enjoying marketing more than I was enjoying mortgages. Got out of it. Was training other real estate agents, other mortgage guys, how to become the, how to, how to become the local celebrity, how to have, how to, how to do more deals. And no one in my area was doing what I was doing online. I was like, well, you know, let's let's get in, let's get back into real estate because, like I said, I enjoyed real estate. Always, always enjoyed real estate. And ever since I got out of college, I was always involved in real estate in some shape, form, or fashion. Whether it be construction, whether it be involved in the paints. I was I actually worked for Lucite, Pittsburgh Paints for a while, and uh, got involved in construction. Got involved in selling advertising. Got involved in mortgages. And it's like you know what I've always been involved in more in real estate, so let's actually sell real estate for a chance for a change. There you go. There you go. And uh, lo and behold, I'm actually enjoying success at it. I mean, I, I I really I really do enjoy doing it. It's it's not it's not a it's not a part time passion for me. It's full time. I I still enjoy training uh, small businesses how to do video, how to market themselves online. I do some internet marketing as well. Uh, but really, my passion lies with real estate. It is something that I just just really enjoy. It, it uh, let's 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 call a spade a spade. It is something that frustrates me as well. I think it, it, it from time to time it is something that frustrates us all. But when, at the end of the day, it's something that I truly enjoy. It is something that I see myself doing when I'm 80. And I'll, I'll retire at some point. But if I can yeah. do five six deals a month and and enjoy it, why retire? You know, and uh, I know some people that do five six deals a month and have a team doing it for them, so you can still make great money and not have a whole lot of. Uh, not, and not have a whole lot to do, and not actually, you know. So um, I know quite a few people that are doing that now. So heck yeah, man! And that's one of my goals. Yeah, um, you, to, you know, I didn't know you used to be in the mortgage business. So uh, th that's uh, that's cool. You so you understand both sides of the industry. That's that's really cool. And that's really something that I think is my one of my strong points going into any deal is when I meet with a first home first time home buyer, is I understand their struggle with to to get it pre approved. And a lot of times I won't show anybody a home unless they are pre approved. Amen because I'm not, not going to spin my wheels and showing them a house. I'm not going to be a taxi cab driver for them, showing them houses unless they are pre-approved. A lot of times I will show them a house one time because, one, I might be interested in seeing the house myself. So let's, let's go, or it might be close to my right. home, sure. but they get they get one for free. They don't get two for free. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, to, so, so you're going to focus mainly on YouTube today, and then we're going to open it up for questions at the end. But why don't you, uh, why don't you rock it out and share with us what, you, uh, what you've been doing with YouTube? YouTube, YouTube is something that I've actually found uh, by accident. Or video is something that I found by accident back when I did mortgages. Is like one day when I shut my office down in 2009, I was switching teams. I was going to another to another office, and I actually it was it was my daughter was off doing something, and I was I was actually at a park, and I grabbed my camera, and I I actually just did a quick video, and I called myself the number one FHA guy, or I don't know what I called myself now, but I called myself the number one. FHA lender in the state of Indiana, and like a month later, I happened to Google that term, and the first person to pop up was that video. I'm like, well, how the heck did that happen? So I started looking into what I did to get to become number one for that term, and it was all because of what I said on that video, how I keyworded it, how I said it, uh, where how, where I put it online, and I only and at the time I was only using Vimeo because I didn't want to be part of Google of the machine, and yep. if, I, I figured if, if Vimeo was that powerful, how much more powerful could YouTube be? And so that I started really get, getting diving more into YouTube, and that was back in 2008, 2009. So from there, I really started looking more into this, and and lo and behold. YouTube and video in itself is just a powerful tool. So, like like everybody here on this call, I am just a realtor, just like everybody else. I put my pants cool. on. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I, I have the same time constraints as everybody else. It is what you make of it. And as yeah. I go along, I'll explain to you how I make time to do video on a regular basis. Uh, did, did I do a lot of video last year? No. I let the I let the negative Nellies get in my head last year. 
but 2015 is going to be a game changer for video for uh, for you know for, for, real for quick story team. dude that's uh, probably the biggest story that I've ever um, had as far as video a really good friend of mine out of New York uh, and actually New Jersey Pinky uh, did a video we did a class a, a little while ago on realtor safety with all the uh, bad stuff going on with the kidnappings and stuff like that um, she did a class on or she did a video for the agent mastermind class on realtor safety and then she did a live class with a karate instructor, and she's doing one again, but um, the lady from 2020, the movie, one of the reporters from 2020, Googled realtor safety classes, and Pinky's video come up on YouTube. She called Pinky, had a 45-minute discussion, is now flying out to New Jersey to see Pinky do um, and videotape another class that she's doing for realtor safety, um, and going to interview her and all that stuff. So I'm telling you guys, video, she, it's literally going to put her on the map, especially if 2020 airs it, because they're going to be there in New Jersey videotaping Pinky and her realtor class with her karate instructor, which is really cool. I've had, similar, I've had a similar success story. A friend of mine was the head of social media for, for Notre Dame. He's now the head, of, the head of social media for the beef industry. His friend is the head of social media for NASA. She got invited to go to speak to her realtor, a realtor association in her hometown in Denver, she knows nothing about real estate, so she needed a connection to know about real estate. One person he knew that he knew real estate was me, so the head of head of NASA social media called me. So I mean, so and she watched my video, so she knew what the heck I was talking about. So I mean, video is a great way for people to discover you. So don't be afraid Absolutely. to do it. Absolutely. Whoops. Can you guys see the screen? Uh, let me give you uh, access yep. to the mouse here. Let me give you. Um, I just gave you keyboard and mouse access, so you can go ahead and click the screen, buddy. All right. You good? Uh, did it change? I'm not seeing no, it change. No, it did not. Let me. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So what we're going to learn today is why you should do video on a regular basis. And I'm going to warn you right now, everybody. I speak fast, so if I start talking too fast, raise your hand. Tell Scott. Tell me to slow down, and I'll slow down. I promise. I'll try to do that on a regular basis. Sounds good, buddy. How to get on the first page of Google pretty quickly. I mean, I did a video uh, a year ago, and 9 o'clock in the morning, by uh, by 1 o'clock that afternoon, I was already on the first page of Google. It is pretty, you can do it just that fast. How to own whole neighborhoods and, and areas. Even if, someone's in, even if someone did it last year or two years ago, how you can do it faster and quicker. And how you, how you can easily get leads from your videos. It's not moving for me. Whoops. Uh, let me try one more time. Dave, there we go. Sorry, buddy. You got it now. Go ahead and click on the screen. There we go. Okay. Some stats real quick. There's over 6 million views a month on video, or, or let's say just say YouTube at this point. According to Nielsen, it reaches more U.S. adults, 18 to 34, than any other cable network out there. At one point, I read, read a statistic that there's more content being produced every day or every week. I can't remember which one it was than the big three are produ that produce in 50 years. So yeah, even it's per hour. <laughs> it it per could hour. be that point at that yeah. point now. Yeah. Uh, the average person spends 15 minutes a day. I mean, I, if, if I was in a room right now, I'd ask you to raise your hand. How many people watched the video this morning? Whether it be on I, I Facebook. Did. I know I I know I did. I watched four. I mean, it was all on yep. Facebook this morning. 40% uh -huh. um, of all global traffic right now is, is uh, of video traffic is mobile. So right. don't be afraid to put this on your on your signs out there right now. Uh, and you have a 50% greater chance of ranking on the first page of Google by using video. I know right now it's very tough to get on the first page of Google, but if you use video, you will get on the first page of Google. I mean, if there's any guarantee out of this whole of, of this webinar today, this is the one guarantee that I will give you. If you use video, you'll, video, you will get on the first page of Google. No question. And this, this is an old statistic. I mean, I couldn't find a new one, but, but it still works right now. 73% of all homeowners are more likely to list with, a, list with an agent who uses video. I've read that because you know why? And uh, just real quick, and here's, I, I guarantee you this is the reason why. Because when they, when they watch your, if they watch a video of you, they hear you, they see you, and when they meet you, they feel like they already know you. Exactly. The first entrance into the door. I'm telling you, it's so powerful, guys. It is, and but less than one percent of all agents are using video. This might be just a little higher now. I don't think um, so. But it, but but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, a slideshow is not a video. No, I, I, that's my biggest pet peeve right now. People are like, "Well, I do video. 
I, I like Animoto. Don't get me wrong. I think Animoto is great for for is is, is a is a great subset of a video. But it, to me, but you're not going to go to AMC or where, where the name any movie theater in your area and pay ten bucks to go watch a slideshow. Uh -huh. uh, but I think I think if if that's the only way you're going to do video, try it. Do some voiceover. For, do do some voiceover. Uh, add a voiceover to the video, and I'll show you how to do that, or I'll give you an idea how to do that, uh, as, and later on in the slides. And it's, so why don't more agents uh, use video? They're overwhelmed by They're overwhelmed by technology. I mean, it, do I get overwhelmed by technology? Absolutely. There's some things that scare me to death, or I just I'm afraid to do something. I mean, even even last summer, I got into my shell and just just didn't want to do video. And uh, the, the last quarter of this year, I started doing more. Started doing it on a daily on a daily basis, and just didn't care what you thought. If you if you didn't like it, you know what? Send me the email. I like thrived on it at that point. Some you, know what I, you know, Dave, you know, Dave. What I always like to tell people is like, you look like how you look, whether you like it or not. That's just how. Like, you walk into a grocery store, you walk into a, a listing presentation, you walk into a buyer presentation, you walk into a closing. That is how you look, and that is how you sound. It's just how I don't know what it is about video. People see themselves as like, oh my god, on video. But that's how you look. You wouldn't have a problem walking into a closing or walking into a listing or anything like that. So just you, you got to remove the the shell, like you say, and just do it because it's so powerful. And we'll give you a ton of ideas on what to do videos on and what equipment to use and stuff like that. Because it's really, I, and I got a cool tool to sh show you, Dave, that you might already have, but it's called the shoulder. Called the shoulder pod, and I'll show you. I'll show you ah, a of it when I'm done. I don't think I've heard of that one. And, and Scott, you, we've met before. I'm not a pretty man, and I've got no trouble being on, being on camera. And at this point, they say they say I got a face for radio, bro. I and I used to do radio, and I have to. And, uh, but they kicked me off of it, so I guess I'm I'm set for video at this point. Okay. Some people just don't know where to start, and I hopefully by the end, end of this end of this series, you'll you'll know where to start, or at least have an idea of where to start. Uh, you're camera shy. You know what? I, like I just said, I'm not the prettiest guy in the world, but I got a knockout wife, and she must she she found she found something in me. So someone's gonna, someone out someone out there is going to find something in you. You you got you've gotten listings before. Just just keep going at it. I mean, you, you're going to find something. You're afraid of editing. Just keep knocking it out of the park. Just keep doing it over and over and over. Some of the some of the videos that I've done. I mean, I've shot over. The five-minute videos that should have taken me five minutes have taken me three hours because I just kept not kept doing them over and over and over again because I've said the wrong thing or or I got frustrated with it or what have you. You're afraid to look amateurish or foolish. Don't worry about it. Trust me. Go look at some of the videos that are out there. Go look at some of your MLS videos, your your MLS pictures that are that are in your MLS. They are, they're not afraid to look amateurish or foolish. And some people are just <laughs> some people are just don't understand SEO. At the end of the day, you, you'll at the end of this at the end of this series, you'll understand it better. If you don't, I promise you, I'll answer your questions inside inside the Age of Mastermind Facebook group. If not, we'll 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 I'll talk on the phone. There's more than a few more than a few of us in that group. I've talked to you on the phone. I'm not afraid to do that. Oops, I'm sorry, my my phone is blinking at me. I apologize. What equipment to use? Uh, sadly, the, the 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 Kodak camera there and on the side they don't make anymore. So if you can find one of those cheap, buy it. Yeah, it's I think it's the Z. I think they still make the ZI ten or twelve or something like that. I think they still do. But they don't make they don't. I don't think they make it with the uh, external mic. Uh, oh, the external anymore. mic. Okay, okay. Man, I'm telling you, the iPhone's the bomb, man. The iPhone's it is, the bomb. and and you or can still toys, you matter. can still yeah you can still add the mic to the to the to the phone. My yeah. my biggest pet peeve. You see how the phone is being held horizontally there. Yeah. Always hold the phone horizontally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you if you ever watch a video and you and they keep shifting it back and forth, that's because they're holding it vertically, and it yeah. drives me absolutely insane. If you ever want to do a screencast, I mean, I know I'm using a Mac. A Mac, you can you can you can do it just as easily on a PC. Um, it's 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 a simple tool. I mean, uh, and I'll show you the programs you can use later as well. Um, but you can use your iPad. You can use your uh, any Android tablet. I'm a Mac guy all all day long at this point, except for now. I, I still have a PC at home, and I use Screencast. Uh, there's there's programs out there for all. There's free and expensive ones. They're they're all over the place. Uh, the one I still use a Sony camera. 
Uh, it does not have the first. I still use. I still use the first camera that I bought five, six, seven years ago. At this point, it does not have a wireless mic, or it doesn't have an external mic plug-in. But you can't tell the difference. I mean, as close as I use it inside of a house, it still has good sound to it. So don't be afraid to buy something cheap. It, it'll still have good sound, and, and if you can buy something with an external mic plug-in, buy that. I mean, there are the tools out there. Just do some research on it, and I'm more than willing to help you after the fact at this point. Any, any you know, I picked up uh, one thing I'm really, really happy with is the Samsung Galaxy, which yep. is the um, – it's it's a really cool camera. Like, it's, it's got all the power of a droid phone, but it's just a camera, and it's got really hot, like, 21 lens or something like that, 21 zoom lens. Um, it allows you to upload to your Dropbox or YouTube. It goes directly to YouTube as long as you have um, – I bought the one that did not have the service because the service requires you to pay, like, 5 bucks a month, and I didn't really need this service. I don't need it. So as long as you have Wi-Fi, you can upload to any social media site, any – Dropbox, YouTube, Box.com, whatever you want. So as soon as you do the video, you just click Upload to Dropbox. It's in there. You can take it, edit it, whatever. I say go commando. I say don't edit it. I mean, we're not movie stars. We're not actors. I say just leave it alone and, and post it. And people aren't expecting us to be uh, to be to be pros at this at this point. Right, right. They want us to sell your house. Better I mean, than the video you didn't do. Yeah. I mean, just get out there and do it at this point. Some great ways to use video. I mean, um, do a neighborhood tour. And, and I, I'm going to say I a lot in this video. So don't think I'm being arrogant. This is just because I'm. This is what I've done in the past. Uh, this is the one. I actually. This is the one I did in the morning. And by that afternoon, I already had about 50 views on it by that afternoon, and had well, it was on the first page of Google. In fact, we still a few Google Hawthorne subdivision and Valparaiso, and and the key to this is these is to use the long term or long, what's called long tail keywords. People are you are googling Hawthorne subdivision Valparaiso, or they're googling your subdivision. They're they're googling name a subdivision in your neighborhood or or your town. That's what they're googling. They're uh, you, you understand what I'm saying, Scotty? I do. I do. Yeah, yep. So, yep. so they're using the long tail. So don't don't go to specific words. They're using the long version of, of 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 that of that subdivision. So this is what got me found so quickly. And this is not a professional video by any stretch of imagination. It's 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 a camera on the hood of my car. I I turned it around. I I, I basically said a few short words about the subdivision. What kind of homes they should expect they should expect to find in 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 the subdivision. What I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, where it was at in the town, what kind of garages they would find. Whether it was two, mostly two or three car garages, where they had us, whether it had a, uh, a HOA, uh, where they had, whether they were allowed fences or not. And then I just drove around the neighborhood, kind of showing the houses. And every you know, once in a while, a competitor's sign would pop up, but I didn't focus on it. And I drove by at five, ten miles an hour. I wasn't speeding through. And I did it in a time of day where there weren't no where there were where there were no kids in the neighborhood, so I wasn't worried about hitting anybody. And it, and I got it back in the office about ten o'clock, edited it up. And when I say edited it up, I just kind of um, I put a, a bumper at the end, and I put the when I say I put a bumper, you know, for more information, contact Dave Woodson at Prime Real Estate. Draw my email, draw my phone number, which is it's just you, you actually the lady last was it like last week who did the PowerPoint? Yeah. What, yeah, I just did that in PowerPoint, so I saved it as a JPEG, and I just dropped that in the back end of the back end of the video and uploaded it. And it. within two so, hours. So what? So so what? Dave is saying is he, uh, uh, Vicky Rice does all like when she showed you how to do flyers and postcards and all that stuff. If you create whatever you create inside of your uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, you can save as a JPEG, which is now a photo that you can add to the back of a video is what he's saying. So yes, anything sir. you create in PowerPoint can cre be, be saved as a JPEG very easy. All you do is, all you do is push it. Hey, Dave, can you, um, if you remove, um, not that I don't want to look at you, but if you remove your webcam, it actually makes for a bigger picture that people can see. Of, uh, uh, of how, the how do I do that? Uh, if you go to the webcam section of the thing, and it just says share webcam, if you click it again, it should turn it off. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right, and then, All right. Hey, guys, uh, just a little house cleaning. If you see up in the top right where it says Zoom, there's a Zoom button. If you click on that and just click uh, actual size, uh, it'll make it a lot bigger for you, and you can adjust that on yourself. So if you want to, um, there's a Zoom button, 
at the top, uh, at the very top left, should be a zoom for you to make that bigger. I wasn't right. where everybody was seeing me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. I should have waved. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. All right, buddy. Sorry about that. Oops, I jumped in the other Oh, there you go. Here's another one that I had done actually when I was a mortgage broker. So this is about five years old. Uh, and this is where I talk about even if someone who's done a, prof a professional video who's maybe been there longer than you have been, you can still beat them. And, and this is, I mean, an absolute horrible video that I had done. Uh, it, I mean, I was doing ums and ahs. My seatbelt light was dinging. Uh, my, I had my seatbelt off, so that was dinging. I didn't really know what I was talking about, but I've got over 12,000 views on this thing at this point. So wow. I can't so I can't take it down. Right, right, right. And I still and get guys, and I um, get, just, and I get called. Yeah, just a little bit about a little, little bit about this page. See where at the very top where it says Beachwalk LN Michigan. That's actually a paid advertisement. It's above the line there. Anything below is like is um, what they call just organic. So it it what you how YouTube works is or Google, for that matter, which owns YouTube, when you search something where he's searched Beachwalk Michigan City, um, its goal is to, within a nanosecond, give you the top best um, whatever people are, like whatever wh whatever the best search results are for that topic. Uh, within reason, they actually go in and spider it and make sure it's real good content. But he's got 12,000 views now, and now that is by far the best result for that search. That's why it keeps coming up. And so, so I, so, I mean, even though it's such a horrible video, even I did it with my flip camera, which you know, you know, those things were the were the, were the worst. I mean, especially yeah. you know, they were good for the time, yeah. but now as, as as we got into HD and and what have you, now they're you know their their day is long past. But I just can't take it down. It's it's such a, it's it pains me to see that video now. But it but I can't complain. I still get calls off of it. And these houses range in price from three fifty to eight hundred thousand, I think, at this point. So I get calls and I get leads for them, and you know I can't complain at all. So I'll leave it up there as long as I keep getting calls. The moment I quit getting calls in this area, I'll take it down, I guess. So there you go, there you go. You can share information about your community or local businesses, and and this is something I had actually done a trade out with this guy, and this is just one of the videos that I had done for him. I did. Uh, I actually went into his business, and uh, he put a remote car starter in my in my car. Uh, and this is just one of the videos I had done for him. Um, uh, we had put her. This is a funny one that I had put. It, it was snow, it snowed that day, so I put the camera in front of my car and started it from the uh, from the from the garage because my we have a one car garage. So my wife gets the, my wife gets the garage. I don't. Um, <laughs> That's, it. Uh, that's, that's how, probably it, a good choice, man. It, it, it rolls down. Way. It rolls downhill in my house. So. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, and so, it, and so, it, I added music to it. I sped the video up. I added music to it. It's the Benny Hill music, where you know he runs around the bay in the background. If you ever watch the video, you see kids walking to school really fast in the background. But the other video that I had done for me has thirty-five thousand views. He gets a call a week. Wow. He said he is he's he's, he's he has sold more more than one remote car starter a week because of the videos I've done for him. And well, since then, since then, again? he has sold more than one remote car. Re, more than one remote. Car, I can't talk. More than one remote remote car starter a week because of the videos I've done for him. Oh my God! Wow. So he is since then he has given me. Um, uh, he's redone my car. He put uh, he put the. Um, uh, the windscreen on my car, not whether the I can't say I can't even the words I want to use now. Yeah, no, you know no, what I'm no talking about. Deal, you know, here's the fun. Here's the funny part about that, Dave, is you did you did I don't know how many videos for him. Is he doing videos? He, he does, but but okay. he's not he's not getting them ranked like I can. And I've showed him how to get them ranked. He's just not able to get them ranked like I do, like I do. He's just not doing the work that I put into him, I guess. And when I say putting the work in. It's not that much more work to do it. It's just, it's just, it's. He's just not willing to do it, I guess. And right above here, you'll see, is, is his Facebook group, and then right right below it is is his is a competitor, and then right next to it, right is is me is is the video that I done for him. Got it. 
So, and, 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 I, and, you know, and the other things that I've done as well is gone to network meetings and, and taken my camera and set up the tripod and given everybody, that, okay, everybody, come on in. When you're ready to give me your, your one-minute elevator speech, yeah. do, it, do it to the camera, and I'll take it home. And put it on put it online for you. Then you guys can use that video for anything you want to use it for. Mm -hmm. Cool. And, Perfect. And, and, and they've right done it because it's you in the video. Because it's you in the. Why wouldn't you do that? Heck yeah. Yeah. And, and so that actually, other people told business. me they've gotten they've gotten business off that. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. That's a really great idea. Cool. Another Top thing that I've done that I've been doing, and I got this from Tim Davis down in uh, Nashville. Is every week, and I've got away from this because I had some personal issues happen last last September. I'm going to start it back up here in March, I think, this year when we start getting the busy spring season when the when the when the thaw comes back out. Is start doing top five listings of the week. So I start doing our new listings every week, and so I actually wanted this when someone and this comes up now and, and searches when so when someone Google's top five listings in Northwest Indiana, Grand, and now they'll look for it. But if they do. It pops up right there on on face on YouTube every or not on YouTube but on Google every week, and it's it's a it, and it, it's and I do it for my company only. I don't do it for anybody else's uh, listings. I do it for my, but I've started having other agents say, "Could you include mine?" Mm. I said, "Yeah, get get your broker's permission, and I'll include yours." Because guess yeah. whose phone number goes on the end of it? My phone number. Right. Goes. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep. I don't know if you guys know uh, uh, Perry Belcher. This is the greatest. You can still Google this. So Perry Belcher, um, one of the largest internet marketers in the world, he uh, did a video at a – him and his wife went out on a weekend and went to this uh, pottery place where they had all like literally a, like a huge acre of pots like all from all over the place. And he just busted out a video just like talking, you know, just, just talking about whatever. And – the video started getting a ton of views, so we put the business owner's number. So we called the business owner and said, "Hey, man, uh, you know, I want a percentage of this." And the guy's like, "Nope, not gonna do it." So he took the number down, and then the, the phone stopped ringing. I'm like, "Oh boy, that was, that was." I mean, literally, like the guy started making tons of sales off it because the guy was going, "Hey, we got pots here, pots here," you know. And he, the video was, I don't know, two minutes long or shorter. Come on down, come on down, see our new pots, pots. You know, you know, it, it was just hilarious the power behind video, if you hit it on the nose, you just don't know when you're going to hit it, you know? Exactly. I mean, and, and that's and that's the whole idea behind 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 this is is just get out there and do it. Get out there and, and do it. And, and I hopefully, as, as the slides go on, I'll show you, I mean, what we'll get into a little more, is is it, it, it can be fun. Yeah, for sure. To, to, to do a property tour. I mean, and I think and some, some of the losses make you take the property tours down when you're done. I think mine. I think I'm not sure if mine does or not, but no one's ever told me to take them down. But this one I, I did for my did for my broker because when I got started, I didn't have a lot of I didn't have a lot of listings, but over 400 views already on this one. And I yep. think and it, it, and you can have fun with it. And, and sadly, I broke my own rule. This is over six minutes long, and you've got to script these out a little bit. You've got to know what you're talking about. I think I said this had a two car garage when it had a three car garage. They weren't exactly happy, but. But I said, hey, at least people were watching the video. That's and they right. Got, and they, That's they, right. Told them they got quiet about it then. Marketing equity. We call it marketing equity. You just don't know, like, tomorrow and the next day and next month and next year, and you just keep getting more and more views. It's a 24-hour open house. 24 yep. hours, seven days a week, open house. Yep, yep. Do a Q&A. I mean, this is something that this is, I'm going to do it this year. This is, this is the one thing. This is the one, this is the one video that I have not done that I promise you this year that I'm going to do it. This is the one theory that I've always preached that I've never done. This, but this is the year I'm going to do it, is to do a Q&A. This is the, is, you know, we, we all get questions get, like a buyer yeah. ask or something or a seller yes, ask sir. or something like that. This special yeah. bonus, do frequently asked questions, questions they should be asking you. Do screencasts. Yeah. And here's some of the tools you used to be using for these, and I don't, I've heard you and Carl use these. Jing is free. Snagit yep. is the one that's called, I think Snagit costs 50 bucks a year. Every one of the pictures you see you know, that I've used has been used. I've, I've captured offline by using Snagit. I love Snagit. Yep. It's my favorite tool. Yep. Customer, customer testimonials. I'm a huge customer testimonial. Guy, every I, I try to get. If you're willing to do one for me, I will. I will drag the camera there and make you do it. 
Uh, this is this is another way I've used a, a camera. Oh uh, no, I can't. My my videos is for these customers right here. They lived in South Korea. Wow. They were they were pastor. They were he's he's my pastor at my church. They were coming from South Korea to my town. They wanted to buy a house. They wanted to have a house ready to move when they got here. They used me to go in and take videos of homes. Okay. Wow. And take extra pictures. And yeah, trust me, I'm nervous because they're buying yeah. a house sight unseen, just using right. my video right. and my extra pictures. And, and the guy was I was taking other people into the houses as well. But they virtually That's bought the cool. house sight unseen just by using my video. So I was uploading them to YouTube to a private unlisted channel just yep. for them and family. And and they bought the house pretty much sight unseen just by using my video. So they did a great customer testimonial for me. And but as of last night, because I added this last night, 83 views on on this customer testimonial. Now you're not going to get a lot of views on these, but the, but trust me, these are 83 people who've seen this video, who chance yeah. of using me are pretty high now. Yeah. Hey, somebody wants me to go back just one to this screen right here for a second. Yes, yes sir. So uh, yeah. So if you guys want to grab that, just screen. And you guys, you can get a copy of this whole PowerPoint as we go along. Just kind of contact a loan professional that's saying here. Yeah. And we'll go from there. So um. And that's I will a great be, idea, man. You know that could be a huge that could be a huge niche, dude. Like, so you could like advertise. Uh, we'll videotape your home so you don't have to travel. Or you know, I mean, because traveling is expensive. Let's narrow it down to the top five houses. For so when you get here, you know exactly what you're looking at. You've seen videos of everything. I, we, you could even do FaceTime, with, like with an iPad or something. And oh, I've done that too. See the, yeah, yeah. So that's another great way to uh, just market yourself. Just put it out there. People people are looking for. New stuff, cool stuff. How does it benefit me? Not about the realtor, but about about the buyer or the seller. How is it going to benefit me, and why should I work with you? And that's that's what stepping outside the box and using video is doing. I I feel. Yeah, I I walked into one house with these people, and I, with, I was like, "Yeah, we're not going to look at this one." <laughs> yeah, right, right. Where <laughs> go, I'm not going any farther than the front than the front door. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. And and the, another power thing about 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 your videos at this point on YouTube, look down the right-hand side. More of my videos going down the right-hand side. Right, right, I know. That's great. The more you do, the more they're there, for sure. Yep. That's awesome, dude. Now, we're, we're going to get into the lead generation at this point, how to get, how to how to generate leads by using your videos. This, this I'm sorry, this is why I hate using, using the phone on this. Is create a pattern interrupt in your videos. And you know, a lot of times, a lot of times when I do a, when I do a video, is I do I do my videos in the car, and that really disturbs a lot of people. They don't like the fact that I do a video in the car. They think I'm distracted. I'm not. I'm not really paying attention to to the to the camera as much as I they think I am. I'm really a careful driver. I've only been in one accident in 20 years, and it just happened last Monday. Well, I was doing a video. I'm kidding. I wasn't doing a video. I was actually on the phone. And, <laughs> but in, in this video, I, I started the video outside in, in, in the driveway, and as I came in the, to set up the camera inside, I took my hat off. And I always drive me crazy in, 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 in movies when there's no continuation, when there's no continu continuation. So I had actually taken my hat off, so when I went from the outside shot, I had my hat on, to inside I had my hat off, I brought it to people's attention, what happened to my hat. So there's... It created a pattern interrupt and made people yep. think. And people were actually made comments about it. You know, they sent me messages on a Facebook like, hey, what happened to the hat? And I'm like, I took it off. I, I didn't even think twice about it. So create a pattern interrupt in this. I think United, United, what, not United Way, United Airlines now, the, when they do the, when you sit down for a flight with them and they start going through the video of how to buckle your seatbelt and stuff, they started putting monkeys in the seats. Uh, of bucking seatbelts now. They've created a pattern interrupt to get you to pay attention to the video. So yeah, when I say pattern create a pattern interrupt, everybody, yeah, because yeah, so pattern interrupt is something that is unusual, not not common or very weird. To like the whoa, that was weird. Just kind of yeah. get you to pay attention to what they're doing. A couple people are asking Dave if you could cover the. Um, uh, you talked a little bit about uh, what is it? Long tail keywords. Um, or like more of the how are you getting them ranked? Like, and you talked a little bit about that, but can you are you going to go deeper into that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go deeper than that here. That's okay, cool, that's cool. next couple of slides. I promise. Okay, I promise cool. I will I'll cover that. If not, I will answer that. Okay, cool. Create purpose-driven content. I mean, just don't do a video for video's sake. 
make sure there's purpose driven behind your content. There's, there's, there's a purpose behind your content. Answer someone's question. You're showing a house. Um, you're, you're showing, you're, you're creating a, there's a purpose behind your content. There's, you, there's a, just, just have a reason behind it other than, other than selling, selling something. Do you make, make sense what I'm saying? Yes. And, and ask your viewers to take action. Call me, like us on Facebook, subscribe. You, you make it a 95-5. You know, have 95% it, have it, have of your video be purpose and the last 5% be selling. At the very end, hey, call me, Dave Woodson, 219-872-8000. Sorry, I had, to go, I had to get a little plug in there. Or, hey, subscribe to us on Facebook or like us on Facebook. Subscribe down below. If you like what you're seeing, you know, have your friends give me a call or hey, you give me a call if you're looking to buy or sell in Northwest Indiana or something like that. Call to action. Uh, video editing, this is just very quick. Here are some of the tools that I use real quick. Magix is the one I use on my PC. iMovie is the one, is the one I use on my, on my, on my Mac. Vegas yeah, Pro is another left. one that's popular. iMovie is so easy to use. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. And a, a, um, a good, a YouTube good. YouTube actually has an editing feature, man. YouTube has a nice editing feature. I just haven't like used it yet. I just yeah. haven't used it yeah. yet. I mean, no. the the one the one tool, if I can tell you to use, is, is YouTube. If 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 you is good is good, whatever tool you want to use, go to YouTube and ask for uh, tips on how to use that tool. If if you want to if you want to learn how to use Magic or I, I don't edit with YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 there's always a guy or a girl on there that that'll teach you how to use any program in the world. I could not figure out how to fold a screen, uh, uh, a light deflector. There was a five-year-old little girl that showed me how to how to how to fold yeah, it. All. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So there's always someone on on YouTube who's willing to teach you anything in the world. Yeah. How to and, and here's where I'll teach you guys how to how to do the long tail right here right now. So this is this is it. The answer is let's answer your questions. Before so we get started, tail. so this has to do with congratulations account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes. Click the upload button. So this is to do with long tail. This this is this is where we'll get into the long tail and how to get them ranked. Got it. Right here. Got it. Got it. Got this, it. Okay. Cool. The next couple of slides. Got it. Um, and then we'll we'll get into answering questions. I think I'm, I don't want to run long. I don't want to run too run too short. Okay. Cool. Um, before we get started, I'm not sure if I included this slide or not. Before you before you upload, click unlisted on all your videos at this point. When you start to upload, unlist. Google owns YouTube and they will spider your videos that fast. So always unlist all your videos right from the very beginning. And I'll explain to you in a few minutes why you should do that. Just because they, okay. they, they will spider them that fast. So when you, when you upload them, you don't want them, you don't want them to be half done with your video and you're still describing them. That's, that's why. Got it. So you start uploading them real here, real quick. And this is just one I had done with my daughter. She, she and her little friend were out playing one day, and I, this is just the, the perfect one for me to do real quick. So when you when you title it, you want to make sure you title it that what 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 people are going to search for. So so if you're doing it on a subdivision or on a house, so you want to make sure if, if you're if you if the house number is eight eight three London. Which is the house that I had, I had done for my broker a couple years ago. So you want to make sure you title it 883 London Valparaiso, Indiana, or whatever house you're, that you're searching for, or whatever subdivision you want them to find. Or if, if it's a question they're asking, how to find the perfect house in Chicago, Illinois, or Oak Park, or Oak Park, Illinois. Make sure you make sure that's how you title it. You make sure you, you want to be very specific how you title it. Now, when you describe it, um, I, 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 should, I should have said, I should have changed this one. The, the hard bars leave the hard bars out, out at this point. This is an old way of doing it. The hard bars okay, are so wrong. No now. more hard bars. Okay. No more hard. No bars. more of those. Okay. But you do want to include the link of the blog. First, if, you're putting, if, if, if you want to put the if you if you're putting this on a on a blog post, include the link to the blog post. Yes. If if you're if you're not just put a just put a link to the to your to your um, to your blog or to um, I always put it to, to, to my page that I that I wanted to go to. And make sure when you put your website there, um, it won't work with www. Right. It will work with HTTP. You have to have the HTTP there. You or have it won't to be yeah. a, a live clickable link. So right. you, you always yeah. put that there with the clickable link. 
And th and this is where the this is and the, right after you put that link, that's where you put the hard. The, that's the only place you put the hard bar is right there. Okay. And then you just then then you just get, again describe it. You that's where you put the answer to the you just whatever you use to describe it. Whatever you so title it. Was, oh, this Whoops. is just a picture. Then this is just a picture. No, it's that, that yeah, that was me. Um, so I just wanted to see if I could edit that. But yeah, so you don't want to put these lines right here. Yeah, you don't want to put it right here. This right, is sir. the old way of doing it, and these these hard bars were like better better for SEO, but they removed that. So yeah, um, just the hard bar right here, and then these these should not be there. So now right so right here, I'm mean, I'm I'm taking over the mouse. So right here is yep. where you, is how you described it. Yep. And then then you want to go in and, and, and almost like a write like a mini blog post for it, 200 to 400 words of of, of a good description for it. Uh, almost like a mini blog post again for it. Yep. You can't you can't include other links. Don't overdo it. You you don't want to sound too spammy. You don't want to sound too salesy. Just describe it like you naturally would, as, as if you were talking about the house, the, the subdivision, the, the the answering the question. Almost, almost, almost repeat what you're saying inside the video. Again, it closed up that with a hard bar. I'm, I'm actually I don't know why I was touching the screen with my pencil. Stupid. I close it again with a hard bar right there, and include the link again. That makes sense. What I'm saying to you guys right there. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. And you know, um, one of the tricks that I did is when I'm gonna like when I'm gonna start doing video, I would go into YouTube and I would search what you are gonna post. For example, say Autumn Woods neighborhood or property um, uh, properties for sale. And what you're gonna find is the ones that come up first obviously have the right keywords, the right subject, the right and so. You can swipe those keywords inside the description, and I would absolutely do that. Would you recommend that or no? That's, oh, certainly. That's what I've done in the past because obviously there's a reason those things are coming up first on YouTube. So go to YouTube, do a little research, and, and put in different searches for different things you're going to post. Maybe like Dave's going to do the FAQs of buying a home, the FAQs of selling a home. See what comes up first. See what keywords they're using in the description. See how they're posting in the description. And swipe some of the. You'll find some really good stuff there where people have spent a lot of time doing that. Where you can do the exact same thing. Just copy paste, save it under a folder where it says YouTube SEO, and you have your keywords in there. You have your uh, all different t type of stuff that's going to help help you rank higher on the first page of Google when when the time comes. All yours, buddy. So then, then now you're going to tag it. I mean, I, you know, you're, you're going to tag you it. You get the tags that way too. Yep. Yep. So you're going to tag it with, you know, I, I, of course, I'm going to tag it with Northwest, Northwest Indiana, the girl. If you guys know who I am, I, if you guys know me on Twitter or Facebook, I call my daughter the, the girl a lot of times. Uh, I tag it with myself, real estate agent, Chester, Indiana, because that's right. That's where I, I want to focus at is my, is my, is my talent, social media. I, obviously, I, obviously, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm want to go after a town. Or if I'm going after a subdivision, I'm naming that subdivision in there. Things like that. You obviously want to date and map it as well. Very important. So, date yeah, very important. Sure. So if you, you always want to date it as that that date or the day or, or a day day before the day after. You always want to map it. If 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 it's a if it's a subdivision, you want to be be very close. If it's a house inside that subdivision, do that as well. Okay, so somebody, Suzanne, thanks for being here. She's asking the difference between a tag and a description. Description is what the video is about, and like, yep. and I would I would put in there as best of the description as you can. Like he said, put in the exact words of what people would be searching for, not overdoing it, but make sure it's like a blog post, like you're writing what that actual video is about. So if they can either watch the video or they can read the description and get the same concept, and then the tags are going to be what they would actually search for, like buying a home, selling a home, uh, first-time home buyer. FHA loan, um, a rural development loan, conventional loan, 20% down loan, no, like all this stuff that a buyer would search for, um, you just might use one of the tags or in the description words like that that might have your video come up. But I would also do rural, rural development loan in Chester, Chester in, Indiana. Yeah, but in your city, correct. Yeah. Correct, correct. Right, very so good. So again, here I added the, the, the location and date. Yep. So th and this also is... A, well, I'm gonna go back here. One, I'm gonna go back one time, real quick. And this is my paranoia, and I, and 
I've been told this is true by other people. Google listens to what you're saying. A couple years ago, Google had a service called Goog 411. And if you, it, was, it, was, it was kind of like a, four, a free 411. You called and said, mm -hmm. it said what city. You told them the name of the city. And they would say name of the business. You tell them the name of the business. To me, I thought they were, they were there to learn your voice patterns. So right. I think if you speak clearly enough on your videos, it's doing its best to learn your voice patterns. And it is, is um, I can't think of the word I want to say now. Uh, it, so it is actually voice, rec it is, voice recognition. Voice recognition. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. So it is voice. It is recognizing your voice or doing voice recognition. So it is picking up the keywords that you're using in your video. So it is exactly. ranking the video by. It truthfully by does that, man. It truthfully does that. So, so, yeah, so big, talk big brothers here. What Dave's saying. Yeah. Right, Terminator's right. coming. If, if 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 you're afraid of Google, if you're afraid of Google, you got a reason to be afraid of Google at some point. <laughs> um, I'm not worried about it. I'm I'm prepared for our overlords to take us over any moment. So uh, here's another here's another reason I think some people are, are not getting found on on, on YouTube is that they're, they're not created. Create once, publish everywhere. Good idea. And and this is the trick. Now you know you know how I showed you to on on the description is with, with the with the, um, the link. Now you take the link from the YouTube video, okay? And now you would take that link from the YouTube video and put it in the Flickr description, and now you'd be now you're linking back to the YouTube video. That makes sense what I'm saying? Say it again. So now if now I take the I take the link that I got that I get from the YouTube video. Yep. Okay. And I put it in the description to the, of the Flickr video. Yep. So now I'm linking back to the YouTube video that's linking down to go. my blog yep. post. So I'm creating the last, I'm creating with, the old time with, link yes. wheel. Yep, which which is great for SEO. Which is perfect for SEO. Yeah. So Google doesn't mind you linking back to their 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 products at all. Yes. Yes. So that's when I do that's how I do this. I mean the only one you cannot do it to is Facebook. And I just read the other day that Facebook is not gonna is gonna start competing with YouTube as much as possible because they're gonna start creating their own Facebook video channels. Uh, uh, on, on your uh, on your on your Facebook pages, so I am I am my I haven't really decided how they're going to do it yet or how I'm going to do it yet is whether I'm going to keep sharing my Facebook or my YouTube videos on Facebook or I'm going to just create a Facebook video yet. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. At this I point, would say yes. So, but I, I always yes <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to overdo it either. But it, the one thing I almost always do, it, it always, it always, always goes on Flickr and it always goes on Pinterest. It go. always goes on Pinterest. Yeah. And I guess I didn't, you didn't get, you didn't get the most up, up to dated uh, uh, slide share that I just sent you. I always put it on slide share. Um, I'm getting a call. Yeah, you see, and, and guys, like I'm on Fiverr right now, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, and I put video sharing. Yep. And it says uh, there's people that will I will uh, I will manually make video submissions on 85 video what is this 85 video sharing sites. So for five bucks, they will take your video and share it on 85 different sites. Yeah, there there um, were there so were a, there was I'm sorry, Scotty, there was a it's called Tube Mogul. Tube Mogul, uh, yeah, you got to pay for it though. Yeah, yeah and I, I wasn't doing enough video to make it worth my while. Yeah, and like here's another one, five bucks. I will upload your video manually to in, in 25 quality sites. So I will make. Um, so I mean, it's just they're, they're, like they're, don't spend time doing it when for five bucks you can take your video, throw it to somebody on Fiverr, and they'll upload it to 25 different sites for for which is going to get you out there. Yeah. Or, or or you know, I mean, we can do a class on that later on how to get it out there. But um, these are just the ones I do. Is Facebook, it's yeah, Facebook three or for sure. Yeah. It's three or four that I put it out there, and it's great, and, and it, it, it builds such powerful links back to you, and it gets you found. Pinterest is is, is my biggest one that I absolutely do every one every time. Pinterest is huge, and, and I know we've got to wrap up here very soon. Uh, here's here's some great ways to get to get more views to your ads, uh, get more views on your on your videos. Is 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 ad is ads? Um, I've actually so you're saying so you're saying put the ads up, put ads up. Uh, okay. um, I've done this with with one of my videos. I got I've got some great leads off of it. I'm going to try it again this summer, as well. And here's well, one if if if, if uh, I, I do this with AdWorks. I know I don't know if you guys had AdWorks on before. 
I know my I've had I've had ads show up on the side here, and it works great. Okay. And then another one that I've if if you got a if you got a top agent in your area that's already doing YouTube, be a ninja, and put ads on his video. Okay. And, and do right. it just like this. It's pennies right. on the oh, dollar. So you so you as a as another real estate agent could put ads on other people's videos. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way. If, 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 if anybody in my area ninja. ever starts doing this, I'm going to start doing this event. That is that is that is brilliant idea. But man. but that you can you can idea. you can block this if you're an agent by not monetizing your ads, but not Got monetizing it. your Got videos. Got it. Got it. Hey, can, can you uh, um, Michael Michael Phipps uh, appreciate you being here. He says um, unlist your videos. What do you mean by that? Because oh, I, uh, I I. I, I, I there's three choices. You you can make them public, private, or unlisted. So you you want to make okay. sure they're unlisted so Google doesn't spider them. But the moment you upload and do all the stuff that you're uh, uh, tag them, describe them, and, when, and the moment it gets uploaded, then you make it then you make it public. I forgot to I forgot uh, to say that. How do you get ads on your video? Uh, I think you, when you do, do, when you go into the section about you just you just choose yes, right? Yeah, you, you just say yes. It, it'll say do you want to monetize? I don't have that. I don't have that section in here. Uh, okay. It's it's in the. Um, I don't have that section in here. Okay. I just say no. I don't want to monetize. Okay. Because cool. because because my, if I if because there is a way to monetize your own videos. You can actually monetize and just ha advertise on your own videos. But it's it's a waste okay. of time. Okay. Let me show you a couple things uh, real quick. Are you good? You good? Uh, I think I had one more. Okay. I cool. Think, go ahead. I mean, I mean, I, I'm stuck. It's all yours, man. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oops. Oops. We went too far. I think that was the last one, right? Uh, the right there. here. Yep. Right there. So at the very end, let's pick the equipment that's best for you and your budget. I think this year I'm upgrading. Uh, keep your keep your you plan your plan your videos. Uh, I right as I go along, I keep a keep a, I keep a little book with me and plan my videos. Uh, keep keep your videos under two to three minutes. Don't worry about editing sure. yet. Yes. Publish and share with your network. Yeah. And then the last one, if you guys want to find me, there's, there's how you find me. Perfect. And uh, I will this this will this slide share will be on uh, slideshare.net this afternoon. Okay. And you guys will this obviously be uh, live with you guys here uh, whenever you guys put it live. And Scotty, I do appreciate it. Oh, uh, dude, I appreciate much. you, man. I appreciate you sincerely. <laughs> I uh, I want to share a couple things with you guys. One is. Um, this thing that I just got that I absolutely love, so I'm going to kill that. I'm going to go to a link here, and it's called, I just got this, Shoulder Pod. I got it yesterday. I wanted something to hold my um, my iPhone or Droid or whatever phone you have. It doesn't matter what phone it is. It actually adjusts accordingly. Um, and this thing is so cool, and it's got a little wrist thing where you can actually um, screw it into, see the, this little thing right here? That thing allows you to hold, like put a little, uh, it's kind of heavy, so it allows somebody to hold it accordingly and see how they're holding the phone right here um, to push play, but it also will screw into the, um, uh, to, to a tripod. So it'll, uh, you, you, you can screw it into a tripod as well because it has that feature for the tripod as well. So it's just something really cool to hold your iPhone if you want to do a video and, or have somebody else hold it with a little wristband. Um, wow. That's a really cool, cool, cool uh, feature that I'm using. The other thing that I want to share with you guys, you mentioned a couple, um, you mentioned intros, and let me just show you which one. So it's called Intro Designer, uh, I-N-T, Intro Designer. This allows you for the iPhone, the iPhone app, Intro Designer app. This is so cool. I don't know if you knew about this, Dave, but it, uh, it's not this one. Sorry, one second. Intro designer for iMovie, App Store, iTunes. Let me see if this is it. This is it right here. Uh, yes, this is it. So it's $2.99. It allows you to actually do your own intros and exits if you want. So if you want an extra, you know, uh, uh, an intro that comes up before your video and you want to get crazy with it, again, I would say just go right to your videos. Make these really, really short if you're going to do intros. But I wanted to give you a $3 oh, nice. app where you could do them by yourself. Um, the other one I love is the action movie one. Got that one. That's a great one. You can, yeah, I, I love, this is probably my favorite, uh, my favorite action movie it's called. Action movie app. Um, there is a, there is a case that I use called Rock Form, R-O-K Form. Okay. 
And it, and you get then it comes with you can go get a one. selfie stick with it and everything like that, and it's really nice. Okay. And I'll it, look that up. So here's the one that's uh, Dave and I's favorite is the action movie FX. It'll, it's just like if you see fire, like something blow up, or you see a ball drop on it, or whatever. Um, that's, that's and that can be real good for the pattern inter pattern interrupt videos. Pattern too. interrupt would be huge. Pattern interrupt would be huge. Very yeah, very good. What was the one you said you like? For Rock the, form. R O K form. R O K form. Uh, yep. Official right Rock form website. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a little expensive, but it's 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 great for it's a great iPhone case. You can you can okay. you can you can put uh, ex, uh one you, you can, can throw against the wall and it ain't gonna break. Yeah, and you come, okay. it comes it comes with uh, a gorilla oh, shoot it's um a, it's called a gorilla stand. You can get a gorilla stand for it. Oh yeah yeah okay okay. And cool. uh, you can put them on your bike and everything like that. I mean, when I move and in, here in the next month, you're gonna see a lot more videos out of me. And I've I've got really? got rid of my naysayers out of my life. Cool. <laughs> All right. So Adobe Premiere Elements was a great one that I used for Windows type computers. Adobe Premiere Elements that was an amazing software. My son is actually learning that in uh, in his senior year in high school. It's still being used. It's got so many applications to it. Adobe Premiere Elements. Yep. Which um, that you is, that for, you um, PC. You can use that for uh, I for Mac as well. I think uh, Mac as well. Um, the one I I love the iMovie for Mac. So. Um, there was a uh, there was a guy a YouTube uh, a video guy online I can't think of his name now. He bucks. said he said until you mastered iMovie you really don't if you're on Mac until you mastered iMovie you don't need to move off of iMovie. You don't you, you know what and I have people that do like they have other people do it but they use Photoshop and stuff like that but I mean or whatever else it is but iMovie does anything that anybody in this call is going to be I mean there's no reason why it should be any fancier than that. Um, the only issue I think I've God, heard, I don't know that you should need to edit at all. I mean, I can, I can, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I used to be big into the green screen, but guys, I'm telling you, the success comes from doing the videos, not waiting to, like, creative avoidance is going to kill you when it comes to doing video. If you think, I got to get this, I got to get that, I got to get this, and it's not true. I did two videos yesterday on my iPhone that I published on a private Facebook group that it's done, it's good enough, you know, and w when I say good enough, it doesn't have to be a professional video or we're not movie actors we're just trying to get our message out there we're trying to be seen we're trying to collaborate and we're trying to become the local celebrity and that's what this is all about so uh, Dave here's a question for you from Steve Kerrigan does Dave put all his videos on his personal channel no I, I actually have more than a few channels I, I do a Dave okay. .com, which is a personal and professional and I do buy into BI BUI into BI which is my real estate one but I've also gone on and created like Chesterton Homes Valparaiso Homes so I actually will make a make different ones for each. If if, if the house is in Valparaiso, I'll put it on, on both my buy to be I and also on the Valparaiso one as well. So I'm trying. So I, I guess I'm kind of a hoarder. I'm a hoarder in, in a sense. I will I will um, I will create. I will I'll go out and take other people's. I will go out and make sure no one else can get get a domain name. It makes sense. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. So um, I, somebody I, said, "Hey, what about GoPro? Uh, GoPro, awesome! I think it's a great idea. GoPro is amazing. It's an amazing piece of software. It just doesn't have impact stuff with it. It just doesn't have great audio. Okay, that I okay, found. okay, okay. Um, iMovie is good. Uh, I'm uh, I don't know about iMovie for Android. You'd have to find something else for that. No, um, yeah, yeah, there's no iMovie for Android. Android. Yeah, they, but you do have iMovie on the iPhone. So you can literally edit a video on your on your iPhone with the new uh, the the new software upgrade. It's amazing. And, and I've had some fun. Windows? You know, last year I, I did I did I did one last year. I had an agent complain that no one was no one was uh, shoveling out walks. I know she was showing my house, one of my houses, the next day that was vacant. So I went shovel the walk and did a video and tagged her in the video. And said, Hey, I know you're showing my house today. I shoveled the walk for you. And then tagged her in the know. video. So she go. had no choice but to share the video. That's awesome. So Deborah, here's the one. Intro designer is the one. Uh, Animoto is great. Vicky did, did a great Animoto class. Animoto is great for doing video. For I don't know if you ever used Animoto, Dave. I uh, have. I, I'm just not a big slide. I'm just not a big slide yeah. guy. I guess. Yeah. Okay. It, it you is can put live for, video into Animoto as well and put pieces together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dave. You can have unlimited number of uh, YouTube channels. It doesn't matter how many you have. As, as, as long as Google doesn't care how many how many uh, Gmail accounts mm -hmm. you have. Correct, and I have 15, I think. So, 
Don't tell anybody. <laughs> email for each YouTube channel. You do have to have a different email for each YouTube channel, yes. Yeah. Uh, what is Dave's website? You put that up there. Let me just put that back up. DaveWilson.com, which needs to be updated. Right there. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know. Great idea with the neighborhood tours and my. Oh, so here's a. Um, uh, he, he says, uh, oh, just wanted to let you guys know you gave me a great idea with the neighborhood tours and my brother in law. Just a new. Uh, uh, just, I think, got a new Ferrari and I'm going to do the tours here in the Miami in that car, okay? Hey, uh, if you need any passengers with you, I would love to be oh, part yeah. of that. That'd be fun. Sweet. How about lighting, uh, lightning inside pictures? Got a new. Let's see, can you rename your YouTube channels? Yeah, they're there right there. So, Dave, man, I sincerely appreciate your time today. I appreciate you putting all this together. Um, hey, thank congratulations you. Congratulations on your success. And, uh, man, we'll, uh, we'll have you back on later. Let's go. I think maybe um, we'll get Vicky on here to go a little deeper as far as the, maybe do an SEO class. If you guys, I don't know if you guys are interested in that at all, um, like more SEO. And then the other question I have is I have, um, would anybody on this call, and this is, we have a bunch of people on this call, please say uh, in the box over there if you, if you think yes. Okay, a ton of yeses to the SEO. My question, would you guys want to have an awesome, um, I can put, I have so much content for a FISBO class to market to FISBOs. Would, would anybody inter be interested in the FISBO? Oh, yeah, put, I would. Uh, yes to FISBO. Um, would that be something that you guys, I know that a lot of agents like just refuse to do that just because it's kind of a, they, you know, it's just what do I say, when do I say it, how, how do I give it to them? Um, so uh, if you could put yes on the FISBO, um, I, I would love to put that together on the FISBO stuff and help you guys out, which kind of would go along the same lines as the FISBO um, and expired. So I think that's kind of that one of the two, they kind of tie in together a little bit, because um, what do I say to them? They just expired. They just listed for FISBO. What do I say? What, what content can I give them? What materials can I give them? All right, cool. So a lot of yeses on the FISBO as well. I appreciate you guys' input on this. I'm working on a survey to, um, or actually not a survey, a questionnaire to where I'm going to post on the Agent Mastermind page. And let me just go there for you guys that are joining us um, for the first time. If you go to Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind. I'm going to put a questionnaire up there. I would love to see um, some people fill out just to help us gauge what you guys need help with. Um, my goal this year is to help as many people as I possibly can to bring content to you guys that, that matters, to help you guys get one more deal a month or ten more deals a month. I don't care what it is, but um, go to uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind, and I'm going to be posting that here uh, to either today or tomorrow. It's just a, it's a really quick questionnaire. I want you to rate it one through ten of like where you feel you're at on these different subjects, and I'm going to use that to bring classes to the table to help you. And it's really, um, I think, some of the basic stuff that a lot of people ch have challenges with, and then I'm, I'm going to put classes together accordingly. So I appreciate, really sincerely appreciate all you guys' input. Looking forward to having an amazing 2015. Got a lot of great stuff coming. So uh, look for that. If you haven't joined our group, there's 12,800 and growing um, largest online real estate training. I am very, very protective of this group. There's no promoting, no selling. It's all about helping you ask the proper questions. Don't be shy. If you ask a question in this group, only the people in the group see it, and it's all, all real estate agents. We'd only, we only let real estate agents in, and, of course, our members, our LO members are welcome to be there as well. So appreciate you guys. Uh, Dave, sincerely appreciate your time, brother. I know you're busy, so I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Uh, the best of luck to you in 2015. Let me know how I can help you. I'm here to help you any way, shape I can, okay? Appreciate it, sir. All right, buddy. Take care, everybody. See you same time, same place next week. I'm going to be coming to you live from Florida. Down in Clearwater, going to be down in Florida, heading down there Thursday, so I'll be coming to you a little bit warmer down there. Won't be freezing my booty up. Uh, appreciate you guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, Scott. Thank you.